What up, what up, what up? Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Daily Confused Podcast. Number 12. This episode, we have a new sponsor. Our sponsor is Real California Milk. This ain't that fake crap Wisconsin bull butter we're talking about. We're talking about real California milk. The difference is that these California cows are the happiest cows on the planet. They're happy because they have the freedom to send their kids to schools, be able to go to the gym whenever they want, be able to go in the sauna whenever the fuck they want. Just the freedom to have the option to do what they want. They're probably really happy because they can go to all the restaurants they want, mainly Chick-fil-A. But you get the point. Real California milk is different because of real California cows. Sponsored by U.S. government and Got Milk Incorporated. Welcome back, everyone, to the mass confusion. If you want to help me out, go ahead and like, support, subscribe, comment. We're not. We're going to start this episode off with a little bit more about my diet. Uh, I did start a meal service called Freshly. Uh, Because I got a promo code for one of my friends. I got a bunch of free food to start out. I had done a couple of these pre-made, pre-packaged meal prep companies before. I tried Blue Apron. And I just got sucked into a vortex. And I couldn't cancel my subscription. They ended up gouging me for hundreds of dollars. Because I I kept forgetting to uh, cancel my subscription. It was a mess. So I was a little hesitant, but I started this one up just for the sheer convenience of having food I can just eat for lunch and not have to cook. So before I say anything, Freshly, if you do want to be a sponsor for the next episode, holla at your boy. But I did have a little incident. Uh, My first order did not get here at all in time. And they let you track the delivery, and it uh, said it was stuck somewhere. So I do have to admit something to you guys. I do have kind of a problem. I do love calling into companies that are big corporations and just complaining and trying to get something uh, for compensation. Just one of those things. It's not taking money out of anyone's pocket except the corporation which is just a faceless machine, so I don't feel bad about it. But let's get real. The customer is always right, and they need to do what they can do to make things right. So when something like this happens, usually it's Amazon, but Freshly was the latest victim. They did not send the meals at all. Uh, So I gave them a call. And I just kind of say, hey, you know, these meals were supposed to be here a couple of days ago. You guys said, wait 48 hours, and it's been 48 hours. Like, what am I supposed to do? And they kind of give the runaround. They check it out. Let me check my, let me check the data. Let me go track it down. And then they'll usually come out with something like, Oh, you know, we can give you like a $10 voucher or something, some kind of credit towards the next order, which is usually fine. But this happened to me twice in a row with Freshly. First time I took the 10 bucks, whatever, I'm a nice person. Second time, shame on you, shame on me, we're both fools, like the old saying. So I gave him a call to let him... I uh, give him a piece of my mind. And I try to really turn the fire up on the feet a little bit because they said, yeah, we can give you the $10, this $10 credit again. And I said, 
Well, what am I supposed to tell my kids? And the push, the call center person on the other end was like, excuse me. And I said, yeah, this food isn't here. Are you the ones, are you the one that's going to have to tell my kids or will you be the one to tell my kids they're not going to eat lunch for this week because these fresh meals didn't show up in time? And they didn't really know what to say. And then I said, you know what? It's fine. I'll just have to make the Reese's pieces just last. And I guess I just won't eat. They could have my food. And once again, they didn't really say anything. And then they bumped it up. I think they gave me like 25 bucks uh, credit for my kids. So freshly, you know how I run three strike system. If a restaurant or a place gets three strikes on my scale, they're done like Subway and freshly, you have like one and a half strikes right now. Chipotle has two strikes as well. It's for another pod. We'll get to that later. But anyway, if you guys haven't heard, I think there's a new COVID vaccine. Very polarizing. We're going to have to wait and see. Just this whole pandemic just gets more and more crazy. I feel like probably in six months, there's going to be a new bird flu or COVID 20 or something. And it's going to be so fucked up and twisted. They're going to say, Oh, like the only cure is going to be, you're going to have to have COVID 19 antibodies. So people are going to be giving them COVID 19 to get over COVID 20. That's my hypothesis for the future. So this shit is just getting crazier and crazier. Exponentially. A little bit more Fresno news. Uh, terrible news, actually. I haven't had this bad of news since the news that Wild Thing was being retired as mascot. The Fresno Grizzlies might get canceled as a franchise and or relegated to single-A baseball. The Fresno Grizzlies... Other than Fresno State, have been Fresno's main sports franchise. And it's sad to just be kicked to the curb like this. Uh, it's just a lack of respect. Houston Astros, ever heard of them? Who do you think taught them to cheat and steal signs? All of our guys from that AAA team went on to go and start and win that World Series. A lot of trash cans in the Fresno Grizzlies dugout. That's all I'm saying. Give them due respect before you kick them to the curb. RIP Fresno Grizzlies, we will try to revive you. Now for everyone's favorite, we're going to get into more Tales from the Road. But here's a side thought that I had driving around. A lot of the big metropolitan cities have some kind of landmark that they're known for. New York has a couple of them, but like uh, Statue of Liberty. St. Louis has that big arch. San Francisco has the bridge, etc. Fresno basically has that in the form of a lighted Christmas tree that they just forget to take down 24 7 365 also it's kind of just like a on top of a bank that looks like people just for, forgot about when it came to bailing out banks uh, in the housing crisis I'm just kidding everyone knows the big landmark for Fresno is that little chapel on the top of that building when you're driving in and you see it on 41. Uh, it's obviously used for human sacrifice. So a lot of really scenic things when you're driving in the city. Um, and that's just kind of just Fresno in a nutshell for you. More tales from the road. 
I love driving behind big rigs and sometimes they'll have a big like two like stickers on the back and it'll say like this side like passing zone and it says this side and it just says suicide zone. It's like that's is that a challenge? Are you admitting to me right now that if I go to your right lane you are going to try to kill me? Wouldn't that be a homicide, not a suicide then? Sounds a little bit more to me like vehicular manslaughter. I was driving up to another uh, person delivering and I got a little bit of a scare. The garage was open and there was just a freaking body. It was like it was 2016. There was a kid, there was a guy just on the side, just under the car, just laying there. Like he's planking. And immediately I thought dead body. And so I kind of honked the, the horn a little bit and he didn't move. I'm just kidding, he got right up. A little scared for me, but then it makes you think what happens if you do run into a dead body? Do you turn it in or not? Definitely. Do not turn in and just run. I delivered to another guy. When I deliver to people, it's like such a rush of mixed emotions because they're like so happy to like get their cannabis, but also they're first of all pretty, I mean, 90% they're stoned out of their mind. So their personal people skills are a little off anyway, but Usually it's some kind of pleasant exchange. I asked him how their day's going. But there was one that stuck out. I don't know if this guy was just high on weed or maybe something else, but I like delivered to him and then I was like, okay, like we're good to go. See ya. And he kind of just malfunctioned. It was like, uh, yeah, good day to you. All right, have a good night. All right, I, I love you too. And just walked off and I was like, <laughs> love you too. So that was probably the weirdest one I've gotten. I think I was kind of a spaz anyway. Uh, but usually it's pretty good. It's almost like Santa. You know, people have been on the nice list and I'm going to deliver happiness to them. It's a pretty sweet gig. Another cool thing I saw uh, kind of on the outskirts of Parlier and Sanger, I think what was the name of it? It was like Perlite or something, some little country road or country town. I was driving and there was a woman with a straight up flamethrower just walking on the side of the road, doing some landscaping, NBD. It's like, dang, that, and it didn't even look like an Elon Musk flamethrower. It looked like maybe like homemade. So you got to give her props for that. But since I am out there on the outskirts of these agricultural towns. I do actually see a lot of burglary. Uh, I see a lot of fruit burglary. It's gangs of young individuals that just run around and steal a bunch of fruit off of trees. Reported it a couple of times, no one seems to care. So maybe that should just citizens arrest them, who knows? Thanksgiving's coming up. Uh, this would be the one year anniversary of the Thanksgiving Fieldhouse show. That was such a hit last year. It's sad to see we won't be able to do that again now, but hopefully this vaccine kicks in and we can get back to normal sooner than later. Keep you guys updated with shows. But until then, have a happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Peace.